You know who I be, they call me Snapside I play that Call of Duty, schooling all the newbies If you down to learn, then go and press play Cause I'm only down, aiming for that first place Yo, what's up everyone, it's your boy Mr. Slapside I know it's been a while and the reason why it's been a while is because I haven't been really playing Call of Duty because one of my boys, he got his account hacked and that was my boy. I always play with him like every other night and he was number three in the world for monthly kills and some dude had the nerve to go ahead and cheat and hack his shit and go ahead and reset his stats and all that so he was pretty bummed out about that and he's just really out of his vibe you know just to be number three in the month and have it taken away from you from a hacker it's really sad man so they're trying to investigate that and hopefully when he gets back on we could go ahead and just be really beast on the scene again so lately i've just been playing a lot of madden really just schooling people on madden i've been having so much fun with madden you guys don't even know like if you guys don't know i'm really a fan of boxing and football like really crazy so like football man i love football like i want to talk about football actually um right now i'm gonna say it right now I, I think that the sleeper team for the afc is definitely gonna have to be um cincinnati i think cincinnati is gonna be that team that just pulls off some weird stuff it's e either cincinnati or colts and um we already know what tom brady's capable of He's going to be really beast about it. And then on the NFC side, the sleeper team is Panthers because they're very balanced. Anytime you go to the playoffs, your team has to be really, really balanced. You can't have a strong offense with no defense. you got to be more balanced. Anytime you're more balanced in the playoffs or a championship game, that person has the highest probability of winning. I've noticed that in every championship unless um, they have great intangibles like if you're just a lucky team um, you got to have the intangibles and in doing stuff and that's something that you got to have in Call of Duty too like you got to have those intangibles the things you can't really explain you just get lucky and you kind of like you know treat the situation with a very wise decision like right here I'm at C flag and I know they're gonna be around here so I don't just attack C and jump on it but now I take it because I got one guy but I still kind of go and check out the area to make sure because there's always a guy camping up here and I really really hate that as I turn on that guy and one thing crazy about this gameplay guys is that my controller was banged up the A button wasn't really working it was really really sticky and I'm now using my controller, which I put 500,000 kills on. That's That means that I was playing on Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 together. So that's about 400,000 kills. And then I got some on Black Ops 2. So I think, yeah, Black Ops 2. So I put 500,000 kills. Half a milli noobs deceased from that controller. So that controller is banged up. The left analog doesn't really work and everything is falling apart for me on the Xbox 360 so I'm really thinking about buying the Xbox One pretty soon but I'm waiting until this military store gets it because I can get it with no tax and I could spend the rest of the money on buying a video game or maybe Xbox Live so I'm really stoked about that but I'm not in a hurry to go ahead and jump on the new console even though um, there's a lot of games I'm really happy about like I'm really happy about the new Alan Wake game I'm happy about Titanfall, I'm happy about Metal Gear, I'm happy about a lot of games. I'm not just a Call of Duty player, guys. I like to play video games. I'm a gamer at heart. I think everybody's a gamer at heart, even though you may think I'm a nerd about this shit, but people are nerds on their phones. Go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and go to the bar or something. You'll, you'll see someone playing, like, some kind of game on their iPhone, so that's a gamer at heart, man. I mean, this ain't no nerdy shit, man. Like, the gaming industry is bigger than the music industry, so it's crazy, man. I mean... Now, if you think about it, the, the gaming industry is like bigger than ever because you got everyone doing commentaries and all that. And, you know, it's it's really great, man. I mean, I have fun gaming and gaming has been has been really interactive today. And it's it's different, man. I mean, I remember back then just being on my Nintendo playing with that little duck hunt game and playing like that turtle turtle game, uh, Ninja Turtles game. It was really fun, man. I mean, it was so simple and it was way harder because there was no way you could save, so it was crazy. But, you know, um, I've been gaming since then, man. Ever since I touched that Nintendo, I couldn't really put that down, man. And I'm like 25 years old playing video games still, but I mean, it, it is what it is, man. If I ever, like, you know, get married or whatever, I'm still gonna be playing video games. I don't give a shit, man. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great happy holidays, a great Christmas, New Year's Eve. Um, all that good stuff, you know, I hope you guys have a great time because I know I am. I'm going to get drunk. All right, y'all. Peace.